So many people remember exactly where they were that morning. NBC4's Alex Rosier joins us live from Reseda right now with more recollections. You know, Reseda, so close to Northridge, they really felt the brunt of that quake. Uh, Colleen, you may remember, uh, we're actually right in front of the Park Ridge Apartments right now. But in 1994, this complex was not here. The complex that used to stand here was seriously damaged and 16 people died here when that Northridge earthquake hit. And that's just one of many stories from this very dark day. The video was unforgettable. The Northridge earthquake is a memory forever etched in the minds of millions. I was 11 and it was two weeks before my 12th birthday. We spoke with Jillian Gordon, Gino uh, Sullivan. Right. I was a grad student in English creative writing at Cal State Northridge. And Cynthia Rawich. I was many things at CSUN, but I was chair of the journalism department. All three of these women have different memories from that day. Jillian was in the sixth grade when the quake hit her home in Van Nuys at 4.30 in the morning. And we had always been told that, like, you know, the big one could come and happen. And I think when that happened that night, in my head as an 11-year-old, I was like, this is, this is the big one. The moment it happened, I woke up in the air above my bed screaming. In other earthquakes, it stops pretty quickly. And so, you know, it's 15 seconds, it's 20 seconds, and this thing went on and on. And I turned to my husband and I said, if this is not immediately under our house and some place has been destroyed. Considering what the scope of that was, uh, I think we were incredibly lucky. Um, you know, all of our damage was pretty superficial, you know, a couple, a couple cracks and things like that on the wall, but all superficial, not structural. You could hear the pool sloshing. You could hear something crashing, which we later found out was the chimney coming down in the backyard. Friends of mine who were displaced from their homes, um, the fires, there was, you know, our local mall was uh, completely wrecked. We were all kind of, I think, in shock at that moment, but again, a, a major sense of community. Uh, it was really an amazing collaboration of recovery. You know, you just, people just got back to work and we just did it. I think that this really, like, spurred a greater uh, desire to make sure that we do have at least some technology to no, even moments before an earthquake happens. And the great thing about Southern California is we have beautiful weather and it's lovely. We also have earthquakes and we kind of need to uh, always keep that in the back of our mind and just be prepared. And I think that's what a lot of people are thinking of on this 30th anniversary, being prepared and having those earthquake safety kits ready just in case another big one like Northridge hits Southern California. Reporting live in Reseda, I'm Alex Rozier, NBC4 News.